In this section, we will learn how to model the structure that we just saw in the previous video. So open your Star Pro software and also open the AutoCAD drawing. So I have attached the AutoCAD drawing as a downloadable resource in the previous video. Okay, so open these two things. AutoCAD as well as the start pro so the first thing that you need to do is the configuration as I've told this thing in the previous videos as well so click on the configuration and uh, from here the base unit as you can see over here in the architectural drawing that so if we zoom in into the ground floor you can see that all the dimensions are already given in the feet and inches so you got two options either you can convert these feet and inches to meter and use meter in start pro or you know use this feet and inches in start pro as well so the easier thing is that not to make any changes because it will just complicate things and just move on to the feet and inches in start pro as well that is why we have been using metric metric till now we will be using english this time so that is feet and inches so any other thing that you want to change maybe background color <laughs> okay i'm just kidding so any other thing that you want to change please make the change here and after that click on accept so now we will open a new project and it will be space okay and the structure uh, name it anything so i'll just name it as stad pro practice file it's a one so let me not see the file practice project so it's a whole lot of project one and length the unit is foot and the force unit is kilo pound uh, kilo pound and uh, let's convert the force unit to kilo newton and the length will keep as foot and you can change where the file is saved and click on next click on add beam and click on finish now the first thing that you have to do is cancel this unnecessary thing uh, the first node we will always make at zero we already have the node now let us see the AutoCAD drawing open it and you can see that so you can model you know this node we have already done so we'll keep the origin here so that everything all the structure is in the positive side and we'll keep the zero here and after that either you can draw this node or draw this node so i'll just draw this node so uh, the distance is 11 feet and 6 inches so what are we going to do we can either create from here so let's just do that 11 feet and 6 inches is so one feet has got 12 inches so 11 feet plus 6 inch that is 0 0.5 feet so 11.5 feet so this distance is oops call the calculator so this distance is 11 feet 11.5 inches okay so sorry 11.5 feet or 11 feet and 6 inches this direction is the x direction that is why i have placed the coordinate in the x direction and the z is 0 so if this line is the original line so z is 0 here so we got 11.5 enter 0 0 we got another coordinate so now let's just copy this coordinate okay so uh, we have to so we have to use the nodes cursor so left click on it and select the node and after that control plus c and control plus v so x direction now let us see the distance so it is 13 feet and 6 inches so this distance center to center from the columns okay so just use that okay let me just delete it center to center okay if this distance all right so if this distance is not given what do you have to do you have to measure it by yourself center to center distance between the columns 13 feet and 6 inches again it's 13.5 feet because 1 feet has got 12 inches so 13.5 feet and click on ok we got 3 nodes here 
uh, now uh, I'll just use this option so view from plus y so that I can see in the linear form now I'll select all the three nodes I'll what I'll do I'll just do control C and I'll do control V now we'll copy these nodes in the Z direction so this direction is our X direction and this direction is our Z direction so the distance from this grid CC grid to the BB grid is 13 feet and 6 inches so let's do that 13.5 okay not in the X but in the Z direction okay 13.50 and let's just do 0 here click on ok so we got the nodes here again let us copy them control C and control V and let's see what the distance is again 13 feet and 6 inches so this is a very simple structure that you can imagine okay and so this will be very helpful to make your base so if I just start using the complex structure you will get confused so I just wanted to start by a simple structure and later we will move to the complex structure as well 13.50 and click on OK so we got three nodes here as well now what we'll do so go to AutoCAD now what we'll do is that we will join all these things with the beams so let's do that for that we know what we have to do we have to click on this option add beams option and just draw it easy as if you are connecting the columns with the beams okay save it whenever prompted okay I got this just press escape okay so we got four compartments now what we gonna do is that we got the ground floor level right okay we got this level if I show you in the section so we got this level so our structure will begin from the plinth level base columns will be connected here at the plinth level that is one feet and six inches from the ground level so our structure will be from here okay some structural designers prefer to make the structure from base so from this portion that is the top of the footing but what I think is that as this portion is inside the ground the behavior of this portion and this portion is different in the earthquake that is why we must start from here that is from above the ground and uh, this you see this portion over you see this section so these are the tie beams so the thing that we just drew are the tie beams so these all are the tie beams so now what we'll do we'll copy these all beams so let us copy them control a okay no so now what we'll do we'll select all these beams so go to beams cursor and select the beams like this you must have become an expert in this thing now and and what we will use we'll use the translational repeat option now we are translationally repeating in the y direction and number of steps we got how many steps we got so let us see in the AutoCAD if you are confused so this is the one step this is second step and this is let us draw this step as well and we'll delete the unwanted thing so one two and three steps so we are confirmed that we got three steps okay so one step two step and three step now we want the distance between these steps the height of the ground floor is 9 feet and 4 inches and let us measure it just to be sure yes it's 9 feet and 4 inches so what we are gonna now do is that keep the first step as 9 feet and 4 inches 
okay so let us convert it to the feet and inches and let us use the calculator this time so 9 feet plus 4 divided by 12 it's how much 9.3 9.3 feet and the next step so first step is 9 9.3 feet okay so let's place that number of steps let's have three the first step is 9.3 next step is I think again it's 9 feet and 3 inches but just to be sure <laughs> okay yeah so let's take that measurement here yeah it's 9 feet and 4 inches so let's place 9 feet and 9.3 feet and again let's measure what this height is from here it should be somewhat less okay it's again 9 feet and 4 inches good for us 9.3 and what we will use we will use link steps option and after that what we're gonna do we will just click on ok now let us see the 3d view the, or the isometric view okay yeah we got our structure and let us take some measurements again just to be sure <laughs> so this was 11 feet and 6 inches yes 13 feet and 6 inches yes this was 11 feet and 6 inches 13 sorry 13 feet and 6 inches okay great great 9 feet 3 inches 9 feet 3 inches and it must be 9 feet and 3 inches so let us remove this 